Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 5 to 11 on the evening of Sunday the 14th of August. Uh, currently reading The Carrier by Sophie Hannah. It's okay, I mean I'm not very far into it, I'm more like 30 pages into it or whatever, so still got a fair old way to go, but I am enjoying what I've read so far. Uh, next up I'm probably going to read The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman. I'm going to be doing that as a buddy read with uh, Charles Heathcote here on YouTube. I've got my audiobook, audiobook going of Unfinished Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien and over in the bedroom I've got my bedtime read which is uh, an Isaac Asimov non-fiction book in French. So I'm going to be cracking on with that, seeing how I get on. And um, that's where I'm at. I'll try and update you a little bit this week. I've been pretty shit at vlogging, so I'm going to try and not be as shit. Dane reads. Hello, it's your boy. Uh, I have just done a jog. I've been doing some jogging. Uh, I've been listening to my audiobook of uh, Unfinished Tales by uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, pretty good. Lots of commentary as well. It's interesting how they've done it with the audio book that, um, like, there's one narrator for all the commentary that's getting added, and then one narrator for the actual stories. I'm getting WhatsApped. Is it? Is it me? Oh, it's my friend Joe. They're in the Lake District. It's raining there. It's not raining here. We're still in the middle of a heat wave. Uh, her dog Bruce has got a raincoat. It's very cute. I'm still reading The Carrier by Sophie Hanna. I'm this far in, so what, a third of the way maybe? And then after that I've got The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman to read. I picked up some books from the charity shop as well, so I went to the bank earlier and then did a drop off at the charity shop, so that's all good. I have no money, bills have all gone out and it's tax time and all that stuff, so I am absolutely skinned. Um, but I have enough for food. I made a jalapeno mac and cheese earlier, which was delicious. And now I'm just chilling. Uh, my other half, Shay, she is off to Bristol tomorrow to go and see some family. She's also not been very well. So she got in to see the doctors today, which is good. And she's had like a blood test. So we're kind of waiting on the results of that. And uh, yeah, I've done most of my work now. Most All of my housework's done. I've just got to have a shower later. But I'm still jogging. So I'm going to wait until I stop jogging to have my shower, you know. Um, and I've done all my computer stuff and most of my writing stuff. I have my journal to update and a review to write and then I can crack on with writing my novel. But I've also been editing uh, Lightfold book number four which is currently called Boys in Blue. So that's exciting, finally getting back to that. I'm on page 112 of 286 and this is my own original pass and then it has to go off to my editor. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. And then after that, I don't know what I'm going to edit. Probably Monsters of Rock, because I wrote that ages ago. I have a, a full draft of like five books ready to go, pretty much. Um, what have we got? Ready to publish. With Pam. Oceana. So I've got two poetry books. Um, I have... Lightfold number four, Monsters of Rock, and then my memoirs, I guess. So I guess those are what I'm kind of working on. So that's where, where I'm at. Hello people of YouTube, it is currently 5 to 10 on the evening of Monday the 29th of August. I know I have been crappy at keeping you guys updated, I've also got a fan blowing at me which probably isn't going to do much for my sound quality. Um, we'll see, I guess, no I probably will end, no I don't know, no I'll keep the vlog going for another week maybe, we'll see. Um, I don't really know what to tell you, I can't remember all of the various things that have happened but mostly I've just been being productive, getting lots of work done, spending some time with my other half and of course doing a lot of reading. So given that I can't really update you on all of the life stuff, I mean all I can tell you is, oh my bathroom's fucked again so I'm trying to fix that. I've done all the bits out in the garden today and I've been doing some other sorting. I've also finished taking all of the records to the charity shop so now I just have books left to take. Also, I used to have vinyl records up there and that collapsed, so I'll put the shelf back up but I've moved my records over there. And I think that's about all I've got for you, so rather than trying to remember what the fuck I got up to, I'm just going to tell you about the books I've read. So, they're all over here. So, I read, this is in approximate order, I read uh, The Carrier by Sophie Hanna, this was a 3.5 out of 5, fairly generic thriller slash crime thriller to be honest. It was alright, I guess. Nothing particularly special, but I am going to keep reading the Sophie Hanna books. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd necessarily recommend it to you unless you're a Sophie Hanna fan or you really enjoy reading crime, because otherwise it's just the same as a lot of the other books out there on the market, really. So there is that. I read over here. Here we go. The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. This was a four out of five. I read this as a buddy read with Charles Heathcote. 
This is another crime, but it's more kind of cozy mystery, very humorous, quirky, cozy mystery. And so because of that, it reminded me of my Lightfold series and Charlie's books as well, Charles Heathcote. I think I enjoyed it a lot more than he did. I gave it a four out of five and we'll be doing a full review soon, but I thought it was pretty good. And I believe the new one is out either now or soon as well. Then I read some French books. So I read A la course à l'espace de la rivalité à la cooperation by Isaac Asimov. And I also need to let you know that I also read La pollution de l'espace by Isaac Asimov. These are just in these uh, French books um, designed like at kids really, with kids in mind. But um, you know, it's good for me to boost my comprehension and whatnot. I gave both of those a 3.5 out of 5. And then I read Encore de Nicolas by Gosinia Sempe. And um, this is more like middle grade short stories, I guess. Uh, uh, written by uh, Gosinia, is the guy who wrote Asterix. And um, yeah, this book was sent to me by Charles, Charlie Heathcote, because it came into his charity shop. So big up, Charlie. Thank you for that. I gave it a four out of five. It was very good. Then I read some Ibsen, so I read, uh, well I read A Doll's House and Other Plays by Henrik Ibsen, but I only actually read The League of Youth and The Lady from the Sea, because I'd already read A Doll's House. All three of them are pretty good plays, probably 3.5 out of 5, but a strong one both for the individual plays and the collection. And um, yeah, out of these, I like The League of Youth more, although uh, The Lady from the Sea was almost gothic and it had some like creepy, almost horror vibes, so check that out if, if I piqued your fancy with that. Then I read The Invention of Sound by Chuck Palahniuk, so I'm actually currently in the process of filming my review for this, and uh, yeah, I uh, gave this this book to my other half, or I'm going to give it to her. Uh, it's basically about Foley artists, which are the people who do the sound effects that you hear on TV and on movies, uh, except she sort of explains, instead of uh, back in the day, if you wanted to get the sound of a head exploding, you would like just smash up a, water, a watermelon with a you know sledgehammer or something where she actually goes and kills people to get these sounds so I thought that was pretty cool very cool concept very visceral probably a strong 4 out of 5 or even a 4.5 out of 5 for that one then I read The Hungry Tiger of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson so I'm reading this kind of as a buddy read with Joel Swagman although I don't know if he's still going along um, but I'm certainly enjoying, enjoying reading these. This is probably the weakest one I've read for a while though. Mostly weak in terms of plot, but then the Oz books have never been particularly strong in plot anyway. So you've got to kind of take that with a pinch of a pinch of salt. But yeah, I still enjoyed it. 3.5 out of 5. Review coming soon. Book number 20 in the Oz series. Ticked off. Then I read Poetry in Motion 2 by Alan Bennett. So this book is that, well, it's actually by Alan Bennett, Jermaine Greer, John Mortimer and A.S. Byatt. Um, and it's got poetry and then some like little essays that go with it. So I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one because the first one was all written by Bennett and each sort of episode or whatever because it was originally a radio play. Uh, each episode focused on an individual poet and kind of covered that poet's biography and some of their poems. Whereas this one, it has a theme. So Bennett writes about childhood. Jermaine Greer writes about women's sexuality, I think. I think Byatt wrote about like poets dealing with the death of their friends and family. And it was interesting enough. It just wasn't as good as the first one. So I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5. And I'm now currently reading, well, I've got Lorraine de Lectrice par Alan Bennett. That's my bedtime read. It is um, The Uncommon Reader, but in French. And I do like a bit of Alan Bennett, and that was one of my favourites of his. So I'm enjoying that so far. That's about what happens when the Queen gets into reading. And for my main book, I'm reading The Blade Artist by Irvin Welsh, which is about Francis Begbie, uh, one of his characters that was around in Train Spotting, one of his like regular characters. Basically, Begbie is out of jail and he's making a living as an artist. He's the Blade Artist because what he does is he does he does like sculptures of people, and then basically fucks them up. So he'll do like a sculpture of a celebrity and then cut them up with a razor or burn them and things like that, and he's kind of become a celebrity. But then um, somebody dies, uh, one of his sons that he barely knows. Uh, gets murdered and so he ends up going back to Edinburgh to find out what happens and predictable chaos ensues So I'm about 100 pages in and it's just under 300 so I'll probably finish this pretty soon And then I don't know what I'm gonna read after that. I haven't decided yet I might finally go on to Dreamer of June, which is Frank Herbert's biography Sorry, Brian Herbert's biography of his father Frank But it's gonna be a heck of a commitment because it's massive and small print So I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. We will see But that's where I'm at this week. I don't have any plans really. I need to fix my bathroom Got to do some like life ad mini bits. Uh, it's a bank holiday here in the UK, but I've still been working as well. And uh, yeah, one of my friends is playing a gig on Friday, so I might go to that. A couple of my friends are playing a gig on Saturday, so I might go to that. And then on Sunday, I have my first archery lesson because I'm going to archery lessons. So I've got 
four of those in September, one each Sunday, so that should be exciting. So I'll try and update you more later on this week, although we'll see. I have been doing a lot of filming today, so I'm hoping to keep that going. Alrighty, greetings my little reprobates. I don't know why I said that, I just felt like saying that. It is currently 5 to 4 in the afternoon of Tuesday the 30th of August. I've been doing more filming. I now have like, after this, like 7 things to film. I also have some editing and whatnot to do and some eBay admin and all of that shit. Um, and also I'm owed 32 guitar playing sessions because I'm bad and I forgot to do that. And it's, I should do because it helps me to practice and shit. I'm still reading The Blade Artist by Irvin Welsh. It's on, on course for a strong 4 out of 5, maybe even a 4.5, depending upon how it ends. And I still don't know what I'm going to read next, and that is all I've got for you. I did another charity shop trip earlier, done a bit more tidying and stuff, bathroom's almost fixed. Life's pretty good, and I miss my other half. Shay, I will see you soon if you're watching this. I've probably already seen you. Unless something has gone drastically wrong, because this probably won't come out until like a, a month after I film it. Hello, it is um, Wednesday the 31st of August, about 20 to 2 in the afternoon. I thought I'd fix my bathroom and then I flushed the toilet and it's made the biggest mess so far. And now it doesn't seem to be draining so I just have sewage in my shower. Which means I can't shower, which isn't great. I don't really know what to do. Um, I'm going to keep at it. And um, yeah, my granddad has said he'll pay for some repair work if needed. But the thing is, is when I was looking at it before, I was quoted about £5,000 and also I tried about 30 to 40 different companies and none of them would do it. So I'm trying again one of the companies that I tried before in the hope that maybe they've changed their mind because that's the one he says I should use. I'm expecting them to tell me they can't do it. So I don't know what to do. The problem is, is that where the sewage pipe goes, well for a start we don't actually know where the sewage pipe goes. Um, the odds are there's a blockage or maybe even a collapse in the sewage pipe but it either goes through the wall and under these concrete steps so we would have to take out the concrete steps fix the sewage pipe and then rebuild them so I can actually actually access my house or it might go underneath my living room and kitchen in which case we would have to dig the floors up so either way it's not looking great I've done everything I can I've tried all these different fixes I literally broke a plunger from using it so much um, I've tried using a coat hanger as a toilet auger, I've tried fucking putting baking powder and vinegar down there, I've tried putting hot water and washing up liquid down there, I've tried going outside because apparently sometimes you can get like blockages in the air vents that suck the air through, um, and basically I don't know where my air vents are, apparently they're normally on the roof but this is a four story house so I can't get to the roof, I've cleared any vents that I can see. <sighs> yes, so I don't know. I'm going to just keep keep trying to wash the shit back down the shower, I guess. And hoping that Dynarod will help me. I also have literally no money. I'm over my maximum overdraft on both of my accounts. I should have been paid today, but I think I'm not getting paid because I didn't hit my minimum threshold via Upwork. So basically, I think I have to have like, they have to owe me at least $100 and I think they owe me $98. Um, which means I'm not getting paid today, which means no money. I do get paid by some clients next week. Like next week I should get a decent chunk, enough to cover my rent and my bills. Um, and all of that shit. I still have some outstanding tax money to pay. I still owe some extra bills like my energy bills because I haven't had enough money for my energy bills to go out for the last two months. At the moment I have no food, I'm eating a bag of quavers because that's all I've got. Um, after that, I'm going to try, I'm going to have a look in this little pot I have here which has got some change in it. Yeah, I see about £1.50 in there. Well, £2.50, I'm rich. Okay, in that case I can afford to get a loaf of bread and probably an energy drink. Anyway, on the plus side, I have done a lot of uh, editing and a lot of filming. So that's good. I finished reading The Blade Artist by Irvin Welsh, which was quite good. Yeah, so I'm not getting paid today, great. 
Uh, yeah, the Blade Artist was like a 4 out of 5. I'm now reading Dreamer of June by Brian Herbert, which is his biography of Frank Herbert. I've made a pretty good dent in it so far. It's actually really fascinating. I was worried it was going to be too dense, but I'm really enjoying it. On course for a 4, or maybe even a 4.5 out of 5, and I will be doing a full uh, review of that soon. So that's where I'm at. I also have a call at 11pm, which I'm not particularly thrilled about. And I don't know when I'm seeing my girlfriend next, but hopefully soon, because I need a cuddle. And possibly I might need to go to hers to have a shower. Well, hello people of the internet. It is currently 10 to 5 on the morning of Thursday, the 1st of September. I'm very skinned because my mortgage has gone out and I don't have enough money to cover it. I do have some money in PayPal, so I can kind of order a few of the most urgent things. So I've processed my postage because I have a lot of stuff to post. What else have I got to get? Like a lot of this stuff can wait, I guess. I might be able to pay Buzzsprout to sort my radio. Yeah, everything else can probably wait. Um, and I'm going to order some takeaway tonight because I can order that through PayPal as well. Um, and I want to treat my other half who's coming around later. I have a call at 7, about 7 till 9 ish. Uh, and then she's coming over. She's, she's going to take her aunt out for coffee because her aunt is a teacher and it's her first day back. So that's very cool. I'm still reading Dreamer of June by Frank Herbert. It's still on course for a 4 or maybe a 4.5 out of 5. We will see. Very much enjoying it though. And I've caught up with most of my filming as well. So after this, the only stuff I have left to film. Uh, I mean, I've got some music stuff. I've got my Dreamer of June where I'm just reviewing as I go along with it. And I have a radio show to film. And that's about it. So that's where I'm at. I still have like, yeah, I'm skin. This takeaway is going to be nice because it'll be the first time I'll, I'll have had a proper meal for like four days. So yeah, but I have kind of fixed my bathroom as well. I don't know. We'll see. Hello, it is uh, 25 to midnight on Sunday the 4th of September. Um, it's been a pretty chill few days. So uh, I had a client call on Thursday and then Shay came over after that and just stayed till today. So uh, we've been taking it super easy. I did get some work done and some writing and stuff. Um, did a bit of reading as well, so I've still been reading uh, Dreamer of June. I'm now very nearly nearly at the end, so that's how far through it I am. Uh, Shay read some of her book as well. Um, she read like 350 pages in one sitting, so kudos to her for that. Um, we played, we took the computer through into the bedroom, so we played a lot of Sims with our little Sim family. Um, we have a friend who we thought had a gig on the Friday night, but um, that's been moved to Tuesday, and unfortunately I can't make it on Tuesday because I have a call booked in. Um, there was the electric jam at uh, the Bellevue earlier, but I didn't go to that because I have no money. I'm super skin. I get paid by like three different clients next Wednesday, so I'm just trying to hold on until then. But I've been eating, means I've been eating like a lot of toast and stuff, like very cheap meals. Um, but I do at least have some vapes, so that's good. Uh, what else is new? I think that's about it for you, really. Um, Shay, like I say, Shay went home earlier, and then she realised she'd left her charger here, so I walked over to drop that off because I'm an amazing boyfriend, and also because I wanted to get my steps up. Been doing some jogging and listening to some more of uh, Unfinished Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien. So that's what I've been doing this evening. Been doing a bit of work, bit of filming. I'm pretty much all like up to date with my filming, so that's very good. Um, so just got some editing to do. And I think that's about all I've got for you. Oh, I was supposed to go to archery because I got I'd got I'd booked like four weeks of archery lessons starting this week, and I did not go because I was asleep. So also I don't really have the money to get the bus to go there. So it's kind of a bummer because I already paid for them, you know. But hey ho, it is what it is. And I think with that I'm gonna love you and leave you. So thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books that we've talked about. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.